Okay, now we're going to talk about one of our favorite youth football blocking drills. Maybe our favorite of all. So we call it carpets, okay? And in front of us here, you see a roughly one foot wide uh, piece of, of industrial strength rubber, okay? We call it carpets because literally in the first uh, couple of years that we did this drill, this was a carpet remnant that was fortified around the edges with duct tape. Uh, thankfully, one of our uh, coaches works at a factory and was able to get a lot of this rubber. It's a lot more durable and it's good stuff, okay? The point of the carpet in this drill um, is to help keep the blocker's feet wide, okay? Sometimes when people are, when kids are blocking, they'll start to get their foot base narrow and they'll even cross up their feet like this, uh, or they'll get it way too wide, okay? And in either case like that, that's not a good base for drive blocking. Okay, so this carpet right here, again, this is a piece of rubber, but we're still calling it a carpet. It's a really good gauge for how well the blocker is keeping his feet about him, okay? Other than that, it's a pretty simple blocking drill. Charlie here is gonna be the blocker. Will is going to be either the coach or the teammate, and he's gonna be holding a hand shield, okay? Now, this guy, we've also had gone live against this guy in a really good test of one-on-one -on -one action. Okay, but in this case, we're just gonna use a hand shield, okay? So Charlie is going to go down in his three-point stance. Will is going to, and before he does that, Will's going to position himself uh, right here, okay? About, about where the defender would be. And I was just telling Will that I've been having a hard time figuring out exactly how to hold these bags well because I always feel like I get off-centered when I do it. And he had a good suggestion for me, Will. So instead of just holding it with your two hands like this, what you're gonna do is slide your arm through that first handhold right there, grab onto it with the second one, and then with your free arm, you can either brace it at the top or just use it for whatever else you have to do, like smacking him <laughs> or whatever you need to use it for. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be smacking him because he's your little brother, but sometimes we like to pat the kids on the helmet afterwards and say, hey, nice rep, good job, okay? So otherwise, this is pretty simple, okay? They're putting together everything we've worked at so far. Stance, first couple steps, duck walk, Good butt position, good straight back, hands extended, okay? But the other thing is is that they gotta finish the play. They've gotta play to the whistle, okay? They cannot stop. And and you as a coach can control that. Okay? Now, ready, set, hut. Go, 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 chop, 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 chop. All right, working on it. and again, every time you do this, is a, it's a chance to work on your kid's stance, okay? Even if we're working on it in warm-ups, we still work on it in, Indies, we work on it in team, and we work on it in carpets, okay? So Charlie's stance is pretty good, but all night I've been yelling at him to, what, keep your feet closer together, okay, more uh, shoulder width apart, okay? Doing good though. All right, ready? Down. Ready. Set, hut. Chop, 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 chop. Good. Stop, okay? You hear me yelling, chop, 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 chop. One of the things that we see kids do sometimes is take really long stretches, or they'll just lean on the guy. Okay, that's not gonna get it done, okay? We want them to keep moving those feet, keep churning those pistons out, moving that block, moving that defender backwards, okay? Now, let's do one more rep of this. What I want you to really focus on this time is keeping your butt low, okay? Keeping your butt low when you drive forward, okay? We get that first step shot, you will even closer, get even closer. Down, ready, get hot. Chop, 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 chop. All right, good, good, all right. Couple variations we can do to this, okay? Uh, one that I'm gonna talk to you about. Will so far has been lining up here with the hand shield right across from him as almost he's a down defender. Another thing we've done is had the guy, the coach or the, the teammate with the hand shield line up here about three yards off the line of scrimmage, okay? That can emulate a lineman who's going to block a second level defender like a linebacker, okay? It can also emulate a fullback coming out of the backfield and at that point, he's gonna break down, engage, chop his feet, and then fire at his hands. We'll talk about that blocking technique more later, but that's something else you can do, okay? Right now, we have one carpet here. You guys can get me closer again. We've got one carpet here, but traditionally with our team, we've had five lines of carpets going at once, okay? As many coaches as you have, as many carpets and hand shields as you have, you should have that many lines going. It's better for engaging as many kids at a, at a time as possible, okay? During those reps, you can also work on them lining up correctly along the line of scrimmage. You can put a ball there, okay? You can have a center snap it. Uh, you can do a lot more things to make this drill more game-like, okay? So again, that's carpets. This is something we can't recommend doing every day enough.
got any questions about it, email me, scott underscore tappa at hotmail.com. Leave a question below. Guys, any last comments? No. Nope. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.